previously. Moving up in the world. And so we go. Hello friends, my name's Lunar Knight, and welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon. I totally just whacked a dog in the face. I'm sorry. Love you. Um, we, I, I haven't played this in a while, and I wanted something kind of chill. And I'd fixed my screen since last time, so. There's a clear trend towards RPG games recently. Awesome. Hi, I'm Denise Reed, the main developer of Spy Adventure 3D fan game. I've recently been informed that your legal department has advised you to stop us, and I just wanted to say I'm grateful that you didn't. Lunar Games is the best company in the world, and I'm glad I could be far part of the fan community. We have gained 1,129 fans. Aw, good job. Uh, popular genre is uh, RPG. Okay. I forgot how to play this damn game. Uh, develop a sequel... So, I want to do an RPG. Uh, martial arts, spy adventure. I have an RPG somewhere in here. Darkest Night, Farming Casual, Spy Adventure, Cookie, Rhythm Hero, Totally Not Fallout, Chef Kid, I See You Dog, I Do. Um... Fire RPG. Let's let's make uh let's see you got Cold War. Let's make um subterfuge. Medium game. Uh it's more for mature. Spy RPG. Let's put it on the PC because duh. Spy Engine 2.0 and make the game. We get 3D graphics. Mm, what do we want? 2D. Is the first one in 2D or 3D? Can't remember if the first one was in 2D or 3D. Uh, let's do 3D. Why not? Okay. Um, hmm. Engine isn't as important on here. The story and quest I find really important. So we're going to put as much time in both of those. And the engine is kind of whatever. Uh, big game convention will take place in four weeks. Do you want to participate? Uh, I think we have the money for a medium booth. I don't want to go too big with a large booth. I'm not exactly a big game company. I don't really need to play. Hi, this is Jorg Longer from Game Nova. I got word that Lunar Games is working on a new game. Would you be willing to share some information on your current project and do an interview about it? Sure. Many of our readers are curious about the, what decisions go into making a video game and how companies prioritize development areas. Your new game is a spy RPG. Can you tell us whether uh, such game would usually focus more on dialogues or engine? More on dialogues. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Do, 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 do. Oh. Um, let's do dialogues. The AI isn't as important. Level design is kind of whatever. It's it's a game about like subterfuge, like and we kinda wanna focus on everything just as equally. Let's do it. Hmm. Also, I'm going to train people. Um, start your training on this. And what's this? A recent interview with Lunar Games, we discussed their upcoming Spy RPG game and asked company founder Lunar Knight how different development areas are prioritized. In the interview, Lunar Knight said that dialogues is of particular importance for such a game, and it seems that other industry professionals agree with this. Every game development and proje project has limited resources, so it's very important to use the time efficiently. Indeed. <laughs> oh, getting lots of people at my tiny booth. Jeez. Okay. All right, I guess medium booth. We had 101,623 people visiting our booth this year. We didn't make it into the top 100 booths this year. Once we gain more fans, I'm sure we will. That's fine. 
I'm also going to train you. Uh, uh, sound is important, but I think I'm going to put everything at about the same level. There we go. Let everyone. <sighs> the day Vina fans have waited a long time for has arrived as Vina has announced their next generation console, DreamVast. A company uh, a spokesperson said the DreamVast is a dream come true. The console is the most advanced gaming console in history. Okay. The new console sports powerful graphics hardware, promising graphic quality, rivaling those on high end PCs. The Dream Vast is also the first console to ship with a modem out of the box, making it ready for online play. The console will be available early next year. Awesome. That's really cool. <coughs> Still got some bugs. <laughs> Gotta work out all the bugs. Okay. New record in design. Not chronology. Also, my nose is just really itchy. I'm sorry. Awesome. Release game. New research available. Dialogue tree and day and night cycle. Hell yeah. Boss, our office could really do some renovation work. Um, work and our computer systems are also out of date. Investing a little bit into more modern office and upgraded computers would be great. Do you want to renovate the office? Yeah, I'll renovate the office. Hell yeah. Dear Lunar Games, since G3 has become the biggest meetup of game developers every year, we've decided to use our name for the greater good. Starting today, we offer different game development challenges throughout the year where game devs from around the world can compete with each other. This will be a great way for game developers to learn something new. You're welcome to join in at any time. There are no prizes, but it should be a great way to increase everyone's skills to the G3 community. Committee. Blah, blah, blah. First reviews for our newly released game, Subterfuge, came in. Hell yeah. Uh-oh. Could have been better. You don't like it. It's okay. Shows potential. It's not my best reviews, that's for sure. Nice experience. Spy and RPG is a great combination. Okay. I'll take it. Can I generate a game report? Uh. Yeah. So you do that. Um, I'm also going to, uh, Lunar Games has recently released a sequel to their game Cold War. The newest game in this series, titled Subterfuge, was met with moderate responses. Critics praise that Subterfuge has a newer engine than an original, really driving technical innovation. Cool. Can I have you research, um, oh, I don't have the research points for it. Dang. Okay. Let's do an evolution game. Hmm. Let's do a vampire game. Are you still... Were you my first person? I don't remember. Let's, uh, let's send you on vacation. I'm going to send you both on vacation. I think Trevor is the newest person. Everybody go on vacation. You can't go on vacation yet. Okay. That's fine. Um, let's do... Uh... Start your training on this. While everyone else is on vacation. Our post-release analysis of subterfuge is complete and we got the following results. Story quest seems to be very important for this type of game. Topic audience, spy mature, great. We have some additional insights. Self-publishing medium games will be most efficient when we have at least 100,000 fans. Publishing deals can give us great exposure and help us reach more players. Okay. Cool. I need to train myself. Uh, it requires research points to train. That's just rude. Okay. Uh, spy contract work. Yeah, I can do this by myself. Mm. 
Yay. Tiny amounts of money. Um, here we go. Contract work. I mostly just want the research points. Can I just get research points, please? Since the market has been normalized again with no particular strong trends at the moment. Yeah, okay. That's reasonable. Yay. Cool. Hey, you guys are back from vacation. Good job. Um, okay. Let's do this. I think I can do it with all four of us here. <coughs> Subterfuge is now off the market. It sold 120,336 units, generating 1,323,762 in sales. Very nice. Cool. Uh, ba -ba. Find publishing deal. Using a publisher is a great way to get your games in front of a larger audience, which in turn helps grow your fan base. Once your fan base is big enough, you can self-publish your larger games without the need for a publisher. For media and games, you should aim to at least have 100,000 fans before you publish them yourself. Okay. To use a publisher, you need to sign a contract. The contract will dictate what game you need to create. Pay attention to the details. Most importantly, the minimum score that the contract dictates. If the game you release does not meet the minimum score, you'll have to pay a penalty, which could be costly. It's also important to pay attention to the royalty rate. The higher the rate, the more money you'll make from the contract. All right. Um, cooking any genre. Front pay. Hmm. Movies not researched. I think I want to go with this. Penalty 200,000 if I don't get a minimum score of 8. Um, target audience, everyone. Alright. Any topic RPG for everyone. Okay. Require developer license to be able to develop for this platform. Do you want to pay $50,000 to acquire a license for the game lane? Yeah, I'll do it. Um, game lane. RPG. Let's do... I don't know how you work with RPG. Farming RPG? Farming doesn't really work. With, I mean... Kids horror game wouldn't be terrible. Let's do post-apocalyptic RPG. Um, waste wasteland. And you can use my good spy, my my good engine. Um. Yeah, I'll do the 3D graphics. Um, they're really important. You're not quite as important. Okay. <coughs> Got some hype going. My glasses always make it look like my eyes are like much bigger than they are. It's so strange. Um, uh, let's focus pretty evenly across these. Your design level is a lot higher. Can I use you instead? That's fine. Got a lot of design points. Get a new uh, thing going on here. Um, sign. Yeah, pretty even across the board. I'm cool with this. Hmm. <coughs> Got a lot of design points going on. Uh, I gotta get rid of all the bugs. 
and then I'll worry about that. Today, the new platform Dreamfast by Vina has been released. Awesome, cool. Can I get, ah, there's another bug. Can I get another technology point? Dang it, stop with the bugs. Cool. Best designed game. Aw, sugars. Oh, that's right, I can speed this up. Release game. Do to increase and experience the following step from raise. Good job. Proud of you. It's a huge ass raise. First reviews for our new release game, Wasteland, came in. Come on. No, give me an eight. Give me an eight. Ah, uh, fuck you. Do you want down? Ah, uh, dang it. I didn't, I have to pay the penalty. I didn't get a good review. Er. Okay. I didn't meet my contract because I didn't get a score of eight. Uh, I want another medium boost. <sighs> Game doesn't live up to explanations. As per contract, a penalty will be applied to your account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, boss. A friend of mine greatly involved in an organization which aims to get more women into technology. They're looking for a sponsor. I thought that this would be a perfect opportunity for us. Would you like to help out? Fuck yeah, I will. <laughs> shut up, shut up. Hey, why are you barking? Guys, hey, sugars, get your ass over here. What are you doing? Stop that nonsense. Cut it out. Oh, I have to wait for this to finish. Sh shut up. You guys are being ridiculous. Let's see, we got word that Lunar Games has recently sponsored, sponsored a highly praised move to get more women in technology. Lunar Knight, the CEO of Lunar Games, said we'd love to see more women in the game industry. Yes. We had 118,000 people visiting our booth this year. We didn't make it into top 100 booths once we gained more fans. I'm sure we will. Hey, you know what? It was good. This is this is great. I don't care. Um, you haven't been on vacation yet, so you you go tr get on vacation. Um, generate game report for Wasteland. And I want you to research a uh, dialogue tree. Um, I don't really have very high uh, technology point points. Excuse me. I'm going to accept contract for this. <coughs> okay. Veno Oasis is no longer supported. Um, contract complete. Yay. Post-apocalyptic and RPG is a great combination. Artificial intelligence seems to not be very important for this type of game. And post-apocalyptic, everyone, good. Okay, cool. Also, I've researched today night cycle. That's pretty cool. Um, I need to train myself in higher technology. Um, I want you guys to do this. If you wouldn't mind, please. <clears throat> Yay. All right. What's your skill level? Hold up. Next step. Multi-genre. What? Okay. Cool. Wasteland's off the market. Um... Design isn't very good, but your technology is outstanding. Uh, what about you? Design is outstanding. Technology is meh. And you're pretty balanced. Okay, cool. Um, let's do... Oh, God. Oh, God. 
Let's do this one. See if we can. <laughs> yeah, I got plenty of time to do that. Okay. Awesome. Master V will be taken off the market. Um, both of these are a little high level for me. Um, let's do another publishing deal. A uh, minimum score of five for the Master V. The Master V is off the market. Uh, martial arts in any genre. Oh my gosh, I want to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this one. Royalty is 8%. I don't even care. Um, oh, come on. Let me type. Hello. There we go. Martial law is what it's going to be called. Pick genre. It's going to be an action. Gameling. It's going to use my spy engine, of course. Um, medium game. It's going to have 2D graphics. <coughs> Story and quest are not important for this at all. Gameplay is the most important. Why aren't you doing things? What's the point of having a fourth person? Okay, you're really important, you're pretty important, you're not as important. Okay. Uh, can I train you while I'm doing this? Actually, I want you to research a thing. No, I can't have you research while I'm doing this. Vani has announced the much-anticipated successor to the po popular Play System console. The Play System 2 will have upgraded hardware to compete with the newer generation's consoles such as Dreamfast. Hell yeah, PS2 coming out. Unlike the Dreamfast, the Play System 2 does not focus much on online play, but instead seems to focus on the strengths of the previous Play System. A solid upgraded controller, including the vibration function, upgraded graphics, supported DVD titles, and even backwards compatibility with Play System 1 games. Hell yeah. <sighs> Graphics. Well, design is not nearly as important. And I want to have a decent sound. Master V is no longer supported. <coughs> that was already not supported. What change? A lot of design is going into this. Since the release, Dreamfast from Vin has been one of the fastest selling consoles in history, but lately since the anticipation of the upcoming Play System 2 release is slowing down sales. If Play System 2 can hold up to the hype when it's released, the Vina could be in deep trouble. Uh, yeah. So many bugs. We good? Okay. Awesome. I leveled up. <coughs> Reach level 5 with the character. Hell yeah. Someone on your team has reached experience to level 5. This unlocks a special training item called Boost. The training for it is expensive. You can only do it once the character has at least 500 designer technology points, but the investment is well worth it. Once trained, Boost allows you to temporarily increase the output of your staff. It can really help you make a hit game. Special, special training for Lunar Knight. <laughs> PC software juggernaut Micronoth has announced today that they will enter the game console market with their very own gaming console called the Inbox. Inbox, really. First demonstrations have been impressive, but we'll have to wait and see how long it how it fares against the popular Dreamfast, as well as the recently announced and much anticipated Play System 2. The new console is said to debut in coming months. That's reasonable. First reviews came in for the new release game Martial Law came in. Give me, ah, uh, good enough. Give me a nine. Okay. All right. And, hell yeah. <coughs> this is 
Play System 2 has been released. I don't want to make a game for the Play System 2. Um, I don't really want to create a custom engine right now. Uh, go ahead and generate a game report for this. And I want you to research. Didn't I already do this? I swear I did. Oh well. Um, I want you to train on the boost. Oh, I need 500. Okay. Um, start training on this. Um, okay. I think you'll be good on this, but I really don't want you to. Mm. The game needs required weddings, but we're looking for we are looking forward to future business. Hell yeah. Launch of Play System 2 has been a phenomenal success. Stores everywhere are out of stock of manufacturing, can barely keep up. Fans have resorted to buying a console on internet auction sites for as much as five times the normal price. While Vani has managed to have the most successful launch in history, the sales of Vina's Dream Pass have plummeted. Yikes. Okay. Um... I guess research this, because I thought I was already doing it. Research... I don't really want to research a new topic. I don't really care. Ooh, assassin game? Yeah. <coughs> I really want to research multi... Uh... Micronoff has announced the delay of their uh, new gaming console inbox. The new release date is later this year. Rumor has it that incredible success of the Play System 2 launch has prompted Micronoff to delay their own debut. Debut. Our post-release of the martial law is complete and the following results sounds to, this to be quite important for this type of game. That's interesting. Platform match, gaming, uh, gameling action, okay. Gameling everyone, good. Uh, martial arts everyone, good. Okay. Good to know. Um, train. You're only level two. Kind of want to get your design up a little more. Game design for pirates. Do this. Okay. Boss, I have a knack for security. I think we could do some security upgrades in our office. I've done the research, and I think an investment of 50000 would be a lot safer than we are now. What do you say? Yeah, I'm up for it. Thanks, boss. I'll get right to it. Thank you, Juan Trailer. Awesome. Also, I think it's time to send you on vacation. You look like you're a little worn out. Um, let's find some contract work. Preferably not one that's that big. Let's do this one. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with the small booth this year. Uh-oh. I'm not going to get it complete in time. Oh, that was close. All right. I'm going to send you on vacation. Oh, hello? Okay. Um, all right. Let's, uh, do, 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 What do I want to do? Oh, yeah, the convention. Hopefully my small booth is enough to hold all these people. <sighs> Martial law is now off the market. We had 106 people visiting our booth this year. We didn't make it into top 100 booths, but when we get more fans, we might. Okay, cool. Got a decent amount of money from that. Um, what do I want to do now? Uh, I want to research more, but I don't have the money to do that. Let's uh, let's make a new game after he gets back from vacation. Uh, it's a lot of stuff that I can mix in with my new engine, but I want to wait till I get more stuff researched. 
Hmm, so when he gets back from vacation, fully rested, uh, let's develop a new game. Um, what do we want this to be? I, I researched Assassin. Assassin RPG, that sounds great. Uh, small game, mature. Assa Dog, are you okay? Assassin's Oath. Let's uh, make it for the play system, too. Yep, I'll get the developer's license for it. Ooh, should I? Hmm. Nah. Let's go ahead and use the Spy Engine 2.0. And then when I make the uh, sequel, I'll use a new engine for it. I want 3D graphics, please. My dog, the, the dog locked herself in the room again. Story and quest is really important. Engine, not so much. I want a decent amount of gameplay. But the engine is kind of whatever. <laughs> Hi, this is Scary White from Gamers. I got word that Lunar Games is working on a new game. Would you be willing to share some information on your current game project and do an interview about it? Yeah. Many of our readers are quite curious what decisions go into making... Uh, a uh, video game and how companies prioritize development areas. Your new game is Assassin's RP game, uh, RPG game. Can you tell us whether you usually focus more on artificial intelligence or gameplay? More on gameplay. Thank you for your time. So that goes down a lot. I want the dialogue and the level design to be really good. Recently, with news with Lunar Games, we discussed the upcoming Assassin RPG game and asked company founder Lunar Knight how different development areas are prioritized. In this interview, Lunar Knight said that gameplay is, one, is of particular importance for such a game, and it seems that other industry professionals agree with this. Every game development project has limited resources, blah, blah, blah. Okay. You can get yourself out of there, you dumb dog. Stop going into my room. Um... I'm going to go ahead and prioritize all of these the same, just except for sound. Sound isn't nearly as important. Hmm. My design level is always so damn high. Oh, there's so many bugs. <coughs> we good? I mean, I can wait if you guys are going to make it better. Keep finding bugs. Anything else? Three, two, ah, there's another bug. The new game platform inbox by Na Mi Micronoth has been released. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to finish before I get more bugs. New record on design? No? Okay. Got a new topic combo uh, bonus, though. Due to increase in experience, the following staff have earned a raise. Good job, Caden. The first reviews of our newly released game, Assassin's Oath, came in. Oh, oh, good review. Awesome. Another good review? Hell yeah. I can't wait to make a sequel of this. <coughs> ah, so exciting. Got a lot of research points in that one. All right, um, I want to research. Um, I'm not quite ready to send you on vacation yet. Uh, research. Ugh, I need more. I need more. Better AI, the story quest, branching story. I want all of that before I release Assassin's Oath. So let's do some contract work. That's a little too much for me. Let's do this one. Come on, guys. You can do it. Yeah. Another memorable game by Lunar Games has been released. Simply iconic level design from start to finish. Simply one of the best games I've ever played. Tom Mott Center. Hell yeah. All right. Contract work. Ah, this one's really easy. Let's do this one. It's clear there's a trend toward RPG games recently. I bet. Do 
do do do do do do do awesome and all right i'm gonna send you on vacation now because you're getting uh worn out find another contract work with something not super difficult yeah let's do this hmm Mostly just want the research points. Assassin's Oath is now off the market. Hell yeah. Okay. That is way too much for me. Um, generate game report for Assassin's Oath. Um, can't research anything I want to research. Uh... Uh, develop a new game. Let's do... Oh, I have a text message. Hello, who is messaging me? Uh, yes, please. Okay, I think I'm going to make a casual farming game. Uh, for the inbox, I'll get the license. And it, I bet it'll work well for it. For everyone. Uh, firmer. It's just going to be called Firmer. <laughs> Uh, 2D graphics. Uh, focus a little bit on everything. Uh, simple cutscenes. Yeah, linear story, save game. Yeah, I'm okay with all this. <sighs> Sound seems to be not very <coughs> important. <coughs> I didn't think so. Excuse me. Yep, yep, and yeah, okay. Uh, popular genre is RPG, but that doesn't mean I can't make something else. Sound is really important for this. Graphic, not so much. World design is kind of meh. Okay. So many bugs. We good? No, more. Now we good? No, technology and another bug. Okay. Hey, a new record. Level up. New research available. Easter eggs. Hell yeah, I could put Easter eggs in Assassin's Oath too. I'm still gonna choose a small booth. I haven't quite got a hundred fans yet. Firmer. Come on, just give me yeah. It was a it was an off the wall kind of whatever game. Focus on sound serve this game really well. Did I focus on sound? Yeah, I did. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's let's have you research. Um, I want you to research, uh, branching story, no, character progression, let's do that instead. I want you to generate a game report, I want you to research Easter eggs, yeah, I want to see if there is a small contract that I can work on. Holy hell, everything is gigantic. I might be able to do this. Three weeks. Character design, I like this one better. Jitter. Okay, cool.
and sobering an, in a sobering announcement, Vina has confirmed today has confirmed the discontinuation of DreamVast. Vina's president said that while many companies will still deliver games for the platform, the company will no longer produce new units in the future. Vina fans worldwide are disappointed as a beloved part of the gaming console history is coming to an end. Aw. Uh, dialogue seems to not be very important. Level design seems to be very important. Inbox casual is bad. Um, okay, good to know. Popular genre is still RPG. So let's uh, develop a new game. Let's pick a topic. Let's do... Um, Vampire RPG. Uh, casual isn't very good for the inbox. I know the RPGs are good on the play system. Use my Spy Engine 2.0. Uh, Vampire. V Vimir. Vampire. Um, yeah, 2D graphics. Make it, like, very Castlevania-y. Story quest, gameplay, engine is not very important for this. <sighs> okay. Give me more research points. Sound seems to not be very, very important for an RPG for whatever reason. Okay. Rumor is now off the market. Yay. <coughs> God, this has a lot of bugs. I refuse to release a game with bugs. Seems that the market normalized again with no particular strong trends at the moment. Damn it. I was trying to get this out before it normalized, but it's okay. I guess I can just wait for a minute now. More technology? In two months, play system will be taken off the market. Oh. We good? I think we're good. Can I get one more technology point? Dear Sir Madam, I'm a financial advisor at CEO Wom Mobo Oil Limited in Nigeria. I'm running because I know of your high worry port and trust worthiness. Our CEO has authorized me to avoid, uh, invest 2.5 million in Liran Games. Um, no, thank you. Random spam email. Can't even spell correctly. Level up. Yay, good job, guys. New research available. Advanced cutscenes, AI companions, and soundtrack. Hell yeah. <sighs> How to do? Seven. I'll take it. Seven. Okay. Eight. Yeah. Eight. Woo! Awesome. All right. I want you to go on vacation. The Vento City. <laughs> Which will try and compete with Vani's Market, leading Play System 2, a Micronoft strong alternative, the inbox. The curiously shaped console has similar hardware specifications as other consoles. Oh, Jesus. Seems to have an optical disk drive instead of cartridges. However, instead of using full-size CDs and DVDs like its competitors, the console features a mini DVD drive. Game Spheres will start rolling in stores next month. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and send you on vacation, too. I want you to go ahead and generate a game report for this. And I can't really research anything right now. Hmm. Play system is no longer supported. Dun 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 dun. Vampire and RPG is a great combination. Artificial intelligence seems to not be very important. Platform match. Play system 2 RPG. Great. Play platform 
Audience match, play system two, mature, okay. Okay, awesome. I think, let's see. Let's find a, do I have a small contract work available? Let's do this. Yay, Game Spirit's released. Hell yeah. Peter said recently a few companies have fallen victim to Nigerian scammers. The scammers often claim to be large, uh, invest large sums of money in companies, but require a sizable upfront payment to make the deal. Those who are unwise enough to pay will not see their money again. Police are investigating the team helpless to stop these international scammers. Excellent work will transfer money. Awesome. Go ahead and accept another contract. Oh, this one's really easy. <laughs> Just a little debugging. And I'll get some research points. My main goal here is to get more research points. That's a little much for me. Wait, what's the week? Eight weeks? All right, let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to see if I can. Can I do it? Can I do it? Good job. Oh, I did. I totally did. Good job. And I got a decent amount of research points from it, too. Find contract work. Let's go ahead and do this. Rumors are spreading that Defenso is working on a new game console. Most rumors state that it's not a successor to the somewhat disappointing game sphere, but instead a new console in the mobile market. Is it called the Wii? Vento's Game Link has been the leading mobile market thanks to the numerous updates and a large list of very popular games available on the platform, but the hardware is aging quickly and many players wonder what will be next. Oh, it's probably working on the DS. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I just proved that I could. Let's do it. I did not give myself enough credit. Give me all the research points. Contract work. Let's do it. I'm trying to research a whole bunch of shit so I could get a new uh, engine. Oh, I did all the contracts. Dang it. Okay. Uh. Research. I don't have enough to research anything yet. All right. Um, well, I guess I'm going to go ahead and end that episode there because I got to go to the farmer's market. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. Internet setting out. Bye.